What's going on guys? It's Mike for Sim Racing 604 and this is the Vendetta V64 Assetto Corsa by Virtual Racing Cars. I'll skip the introduction for Virtual Racing Cars because I'm sure by now most of you will know who they are and if not you can follow the link in the description to learn more about them. So on to the car. This Vendetta V60 may look familiar to you as it's inspired by the Genetta G60 LMP1 car or the Genetta G60 LTP1 as it's technically known. This this is the second non-hybrid LMP1 car that the Virtual Racing Cars team has brought to Assetto Corsa following the previously released By Colin, which came to us late last year. The By Colin was, in my opinion, the best new sim racing car of 2020, but where the By Colin was smooth and precise, this vendetta is wild and unruly. The best description of what I see from onboard cameras in real race cars is violent. In many of the top levels of motorsport, it looks like the driver in a fight with the car. The end result on TV cameras usually looks mundane by comparison, but in the car the driver is clearly pushing the car to its limits, and we've seen this type of violence captured in sim racing cars like the 2020 DTMs and Race Room or the Maserati GT4 and ACC, and I'd put this Vendetta in the same category. It requires a lot of you as a driver. The acceleration and high speed corner capabilities will absolutely blow your mind, but under braking and in low to medium speed corners, this car makes you earn every tenth of a second. You can feel every bump, every curb, and the brakes will easily lock on you. This is Mr. Hyde to the By Collins Dr. Jekyll, and it's amazing. So to show this off, I'm going to leave the in-game sounds high to help create that sense of violence you feel when you drive this beast. It'll be available for purchase on Assetto Corsa for PC sometime April 3rd through Virtual Racing Cars website, and the links are in the description. Enjoy this drive, guys. Alright, so here we are on board the Vendetta at Silverstone. Little touch of the gas, and that happens. Outlaps, so we will take this lap just to build heat into the tires and brakes. But the braking is actually probably easier on your outlap, surprisingly. They're pretty peaky brakes. Once you actually get them up to temperature, I find. Pretty easy to lock up. Once we get this thing up to speed, hopefully you'll see some of that violence really coming into play. This thing is really an experience to drive. I saw those cold tires there, I just kind of skidded my way across. Notice the gear indicator has a decimal place after it. I don't really know why. If anybody happens to know, if you could let me know in the comments. Hopefully you guys can hear that sound. Alright, so here we go. First time lap. Hoping to come in somewhere around the minute 43 mark. that lock there. That's what I'm talking about, about these brakes. I used the word peaky earlier. That is not the correct adjective. Sensitive. Rush, absolute blast, up to 300 kilometers an hour. Very edgy traction there, just held the track. 
flat out. Down two, too early. We could do a lot better through Maggot Beckett's. First gear pretty much useless in this car once you're rolling. More than ample torque to get you around 1 minute 42 there. A little bit more even braking there. Just an absolute rush to drive this thing. Desperately trying to hold on to traction there under braking. this thing is. Just about dead even on this lap. Oh, far too wide. Still yet to run a clean lap. Definitely 141's possible here. If I can get everything hooked up. So close on that one. Absolute rush. Once you get over the fear that's driven into your heart by this car, and being right on that razor's edge. The sense of accomplishment you get when this thing connects. Just brilliant. Try and put this together cleaner this time. Oh, man. I could hardly love this thing more. Big mistake there, cost me almost three tenths. That's the thing about this car, you're never at rest. It's never a feeling of, oh, I've got this. Good exit there. We're actually up time. Good 
Big slide there. Lost me a bunch of time. Still up. A little over a tenth. That is amazing. That is so much fun. It is a lot more work than the bike hauling, but um, yeah, once you connect with it, once you sort of learn to work with it and actually get things hooked up, it is amazing. Absolutely amazing car. Virtual racing cars time after time, listen to me, I'm out of breath, just seem to be making fantastic vehicles. Arguably the best mods in the game, so much fun. Uh, by the time you see this, this should be just about available. Due to come out April 3rd, Saturday. Amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Congratulations, Virtual Racing Cars, on another excellent, excellent machine. Thanks, guys, for watching.